Today, we're going to read Dave the Lonely Monster by Anna Kemp and Sarah Oglyph. If you have a copy, go and grab it and we can read along together. Dave the Lonely Monster. Once upon a time, in a retirement cave, lived a lonely monster. His name was Dave. In his bad old days, he'd been a pest. He'd romped, he'd roared, he'd made a mess. Till folks who like things nice and neat and don't like monsters on the street banished Dave to Echo Rock, lonesome as a single sock. Oh, poor Dave. And there he stayed for six decades, just Dave and his guitar, strumming songs no one could hear, from dusk to the morning star. And even worse, the local knights would try to get old Dave to fight by laughing at his toothy grin, his wonky ears and scaly skin. But Dave would never harm a flea. He's not the fighting sort, you see. He'd rather play some rock and roll or take a bath to soothe the soul. Then one day, as old Dave dozed, a cabbage bopped him on the nose. Then whack, a beetroot in the eye. And whiz, an aubergine flew by. Then leaping from behind the gorse, a tiny knight on a hobby horse waved a carrot at the sky. Prepare to meet your doom, he cried. How old are you? The monster gasped. I'm six, said Tiny, since you asked. My name is Percival the Brave. And you're that fiendish monster, Dave. The monster rubbed his aching head. <laughs> well, that's not very nice, he said. Don't you know a proper knight is always kindly and polite? And though I might look fierce to you, we monstrous beasts have feelings too. Percy hadn't thought of that. He stopped and stared, subdued, then blushed down to his boots and said, I'm sorry I was rude. So Percy took a nightly pledge to give up throwing rotten veg. And by the time the week had ended, night and beast were best befriended. They shared a taste in Monster Rock, took a spin around the block, watched the jousting on TV. At last, old Dave had company. But back in town, across the bay, folks got grumpier by the day. Tranquility had reigned for years and everyone was bored to tears. They sighed, you know what would be smashing? A good old fashioned monster bashing. Why don't we make a day of it? Now that should perk us up a bit. And so they grabbed some mushy fruits, some rotten veg and mouldy roots and headed out to Echo Rock where Dave was knitting winter socks. Then just as they were taking aim, a furious knight with eyes aflame came charging through the swelling crowd. Knock it off, he cried loud. What's this nonsense? Can't you behave? Is there any way to treat old Dave? He may rock out from time to time, but is that such a dreadful crime? Now chuck out those potato peelings and spare a thought for old Dave's feelings. The townsfolk all felt mighty humbled. We didn't mean it, Dave, they mumbled. Dave smiled and shook his massive head. If you really want some fun, he said, then put away the salad bar and let me fetch my brass guitar. And so they went down to the cave and had themselves a monster rave. They danced and sang and danced some more, bust some moves on Dave's dance floor. 
Hatted by it, learn to jive. And got more monster in the lives. So old Dave got his groove back on and was alone no more. Thanks to a fiercely gentle knight who knew that he would rather fight. For love and peace, not war. The end. What a lovely story that was. Dave the Lonely Monster. He wasn't lonely by the end though. He got a lot of friends. That's what we have time for today at Storytime with Sarah Ann. See you all soon.